right? Oh, you know, it's so interesting because I always try to make the timing of the webinars kind of important to the market as I see it in, in the time frames that I'm looking at. And, you know, in the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for the lowest, most identifiable low bar. And the whole object of it is to get you to at least the fourth highest peak. We alphabetize them, peak A first, second peak is B, then C, then D. You can even go E, F, and G. But I always say that at the fourth highest peak, that's where other things can happen. Well, where are we now? We're at the fourth highest peak. We're in leg D. I mean, what nice timing. We've got the MACD on the left side chart, the MACD, the moving average convergence, divergence, really strong. Stochastic's good at 92%. That's very good. On balance volumes, a little hesitant here. It isn't quite confirming. I use the, uh, the left side, right side price time match. I have a, a particular technique that I use, which is called the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line on the way up. It's a little dash green line. On the way down, it's a pink line. And we've just almost bumped into that right here. So this is going to be very important. We've gone from uh, t on the 23rd, made a low. We're very fortunate. We got um, calls, uh, 192 strike calls. We've taken some off for 300% uh, profits, some at 400%. Still have a little bit left. We might roll those over because this still looks like a very good market at this particular point. We're going to be discussing that tomorrow. We're also along the diamonds, but we've got to that leg D. Another, uh, what, the different techniques that I'm going to be showing are, I'm trying my best, and I've done that for a little while, is to, yes, we use the notation, Chapman Wave notation, as a kind of a, it's a very important medium in this whole context, but it's also chart patterns. So there's a chart pattern that I, I'm going to drag over if I can get this right now. Uh, yeah, there's a chart pattern that I always talk about, and I, I talk about it infrequently, but whenever I talk about it, I have to explain it. It's called the falling axe. Why? Because you can see there's a whole series of highs made. Then it stops, and then it makes a pattern that's like a declining cone. It looks just like an axe on its side. So this particular pattern is something that I discussed um, when I did this, this chart right here, CERS. This is a stock called Cirrus Core. I said it's got that pattern, it's got the declining highs, it's got declining lows. If it can break above, we can use this to see this light green pattern. I said there's a one-to-one -one extension above this falling X. If it breaks out above it, and look how nicely it's gone, and it's gone to a leg D. This has given us a 20% profit from the entry at 443, trading right now at 532. There's another one that has the same pattern. It's called um, Ag Agilent Technologies. This one is a much more, um, it's a little different because you have the falling axe pattern. But look, there's the, the from the low of, of 60, uh, right here at 61.13. It had a sharp move to C and then a pullback and it made that dashed line down. And I said, we're going to go long. We went long at 70, just over 70. And that was the extension. And now it's in the leg F. And look at that extension. This is the one. The reason why I call it a one to one extension is because it's parallel. You see, these two lines are exact, and they're exactly parallel. It means that within this time frame, you should get to some kind of a high along this line. And there we are. We're just about at the line. So these are techniques that I'm going to show that you can use patterns that repeat over and over. But the most important thing about it is that there's nothing that is, uh, how can I put it, there's nothing that's so difficult. It's just a matter of if you can draw a straight line, you're able to do these patterns. Sometimes you do need the cup formation, and that's very important. Um, I'll show how you can get a one-to-one -one sideways move where you use the number of bars on the downside to see if you can get to a low and then make the same number of bars to the upside or in the arch formation. So they're really techniques that are based on straight line moves, very simple moves up or down. And then after that, we start to look for uh, patterns that, as I say, repeat over and over. It's, it's just so fascinating to see uh, after defining the, defining the rules of the game, how often I'm just going to find this now to make sure how easy it is. Here it is. You've got three stars, straight line, arch formation, and a cup formation. And then you can get a combination of a down move and the arch, that's the dreaded H. In fact, if you're looking at, anyone's looking at intraday charts, look at this. There's the arch formation. There's a little, uh, there's the dreaded H pattern. There's a two-minute chart. 
Okay, the peak F top, peak G top with a little doji candle in the five minute and a peak E. And this is two, five, ten. It's like the daily, weekly and monthly. I'll be showing how you can use time frames to extend your buy signals. You know, we've had the dollar since April of 2018. It went from the daily that was very strong to the monthly that uh, to weekly that was strong. Then we went to the monthly and even the monthly eventually gave us that peak D, although we're still in it. It did, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. So I'm really looking forward to it. All the patterns are there. We're at a very critical moment here. I happen to be uh, we, we're long, only long positions. They've done very well. And we'll see what happens. And I'm going to show those positions because I also like to have very low price stocks as well as everything else in my newsletter because some people, you know, to get used to a particular technique, they don't want to overspend or perhaps they just don't want to, you know, put too much money up. So a stock like a CRS is great. We just missed one yesterday, MTBC. Uh, I said within the first 20 minutes, we've got to get it at $6.15. Uh, under 615, it went to 615 in exactly 20 minutes and it ran up, ran down, and now it's trading at $7.08. That was just yesterday. So we missed that one by pennies, but the, these, are, these are the techniques that we use over and over and over. And so um, looking forward to it. To, totally. And it's so easy to get into the, web, uh, the webinar, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see us right in the featured content. You go into checkout. The whole day is only going to be uh, $395, and that includes, folks, okay, uh, a month of Basil's newsletter. So great setup. You can go over it as many times as you want. It's going to be live. We know the type of action that we've had out here, which is amazing. There's no two ways about that. Uh, yeah, so as you're ways. following the wave, uh, you're going to be uh, surfing in, in a large way. There's no doubt about that, man, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you, Basil, this, this I mean, I, I can see, you know, why people are having a hard time comprehending this market uh, under mean, these conditions for sure no yeah. one no one believes it oh not no one but very few people believe it and if they do they're just shaking their heads but they're not doing much about it yeah this is an opportunity this is a fantastic opportunity oh, yes. from the bottom this is like insane this is like a, thank god i turned into a bull my god it would be forget it man <laughs> Congratulations. Welcome back. Chat, G, yeah, G. G. <laughs> Folks, get, get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into featured content. I'm at Ms. Basil Chapman's right there. Sign up right now. You're going to get, and by the way, folks, Basil has five other workshops there that were absolutely outstanding. Basil, you have a great night, safe night, and of course, we look forward to the workshop tomorrow morning. Thank you very much. Anyone sign up, I'll send them the uh, curriculum immediately. Perfect. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl.